Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at SMT in Nuremberg and I'm joined by Gabor from VJ Electronics. Gabor, thank you very much for stopping by to chat. Thank you for um, the invitation. You've got a couple of new products being launched here at the show. Start by telling me what they are and uh, which markets they're addressing. Yeah, our company VJ Electronics is part of the company group of VJ Technologies and we are a focused company for uh, X-ray, uh, specialized X-ray equipment and also the automated rework mm -hmm. equipment. We bring two new equipment to the show, um, both on the second generation, the next generation of uh, Summit rework systems, which been on the market in the last 25 years yeah. and it's time for a new development right now. And also we bring the new X-Quick X-ray system, which is a tabletop solution or for a quick and an economical X-ray yeah. inspection. Okay, so let's start with the X-ray. <coughs> we see all the very large inline um, X-ray things. What's the demand for a, a tabletop a tabletop system? Why do people want that, and, and why X-Quick? I assume it's yes. Uh, there are like three level of uh, X-ray inspections. Sometimes the customer just want to have a quick uh, review on uh -huh. the product, and they just uh, randomly take a sample from yeah. the production line, even if it's a defect or just like a prototype build. And they would like to uh, check like a sub-assembly uh, uh, product. Uh, however, when somebody do like a more advanced like a CT tomography inspection where they have want to see more details on the part and, and looking in 3D view of the equipment. And the third uh, group is the inline solution where you have a 100% inspection on, on the production line right. and you're inspecting all the products. So we are focusing for the first two yeah. production uh, type uh, shop floor equipment basically yeah. which is ready for a quick inspection or audit inspection yeah yeah um, and, and the kind of companies that are buying those are they contract manufacturers OEMs in any particular sector yeah all electronics manufacturing yeah. side usually have x-ray on yeah. site so somebody sometimes in a simple repair people or operator want to have a quick inspection yeah some but size uh, like a skilled engineering job where they want to do like a NPI uh, activity MPI work mm -hmm and uh, these equipments uh, basically for all kind of electronics uh, okay. manufacturers. Okay, okay, and then going back to the rework system, which are very well known for rework systems, the Summit, is it, is it a complete complete new version or a, just an update or? Yeah, it's, it's a complete new equipment on the market uh, uh, development. So this product been uh, the first uh, automated rework uh, equipment built in the 80s, back to the early 80s and uh, this product is complete continuous improvement. So right. this is a time now when we announce a new product, this Summit 2, yeah. under the name Summit 2, is a, which is the next generation mm -hmm. of uh, rework equipment. That's bring the latest technology improvement of electronics control yeah. and all the precision placement and heating capabilities. Right, okay. And the, the demand for that is whatever, smaller devices, more, is, is there a greater demand for rework than there has been in the past? Yeah, the, as the electronics is getting wider and wider used in, in automotive sectors, yeah. like the, the today cars, the full width electronics, like self-driving yeah. cars, which is automatic drive 1,000 yeah. miles on the road. Yeah. So more and more electronics involved into the computer techniques yeah. and the mobile communication sector as well, where, where each sector need a rework solution. Yeah. So defects are, are occasionally made and field returns as yeah. well need to be reworked. And uh, so the rework are more and more advanced on the techniques because due to the new uh, packaging styles and smaller and smaller package yeah. styles, down to the size like 021 or 0105 components rework requirement or a package and package device like a multi-layer components yeah. devices, which is sometimes covered by RF shields yeah. and the components need to rework under the RF shield. So yeah. there are certainly new techniques which yeah. require a new developments yeah. on, on yeah. the rework equipment. More level. and more demand. And you're covering the whole of Europe. We know the German market seems to be moving pretty well. What about elsewhere? What about the uh, Eastern Bloc countries, for example? Yeah, usually the, the volume production, it, it moved uh, on the Eastern side of Europe, which is include Poland, yeah. Czech, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, yeah. and Ukraine. So th most of the volume production we recognizing on that region However, serious uh, development part yeah. and prototype builds and, and uh, the, most of the European headquarters are located on the western side yeah. in, in Germany, in the UK and, yeah. and uh, France. Yeah. So we're looking demand on, on uh, for growing production yeah. level from, the, from those multinational companies yeah. and OEMs yeah. and EMS companies while, while some uh, uh, headquarters are looking also yeah. market 
yeah. improvement and uh, some of the equipment are not up to date right. in the meantime so some of the equipment on the market more than 10 15 years old yeah. which is not ready for the latest technology yeah. latest river requirements yeah. so there's latent demand there there's some so we, requirement yeah, there we're realizing uh, some real market demand on, on yeah. new technology equipment some good opportunities there well Gabor thanks very much for stopping by thanks for your time pleasure to talk to you and good luck with the rest of the show thank you very much